Now, these days we have drones for filming or photographing the countryside from up in the air. But back in the Second World War, such images were not only hard to obtain, but invaluable to the enemy. Now, top secret reconnaissance photographs of military bases and landmarks taken by the American Air Force are being made public. They show a bird's eye view of Britain as landscapes were changed by German bombing. Long before we had satellite images at the click of a button, there was the United States Air Force and its bird's eye view of wartime Britain. This is Worthing in Sussex, with its army camp surrounded by an anti-tank ditch. It's amazing looking at these photographs. For the first time in 80 years, they're out of the archive and online, getting on for 4,000 pictures, a country frozen in time. Scattered around in the fields and also on the airfield itself, we have the aircraft. They're the work of reconnaissance crews, practice runs for real missions over enemy-held Europe. It was very dangerous. You had no um, weapons. They've been stripped out of your aircraft to provide extra space for your extra fuel so that you can get out to your targets and come back. The only things that you've got in your favour are your speed and your ability to fly. They really were crack pilots. They flew over the Old Trafford home of Manchester United, the bomb damage from a Luftwaffe raid visible even from thousands of feet overhead. The cricket ground close by, unscathed. And the race course in Newbury, requisitioned for use as a huge US storage depot. The stables were quarters for American troops. Some left their names carved into brickwork, but today, little else remains. There were rumours that some of the ordnance and tanks and vehicles were buried underground, so we had to get local architects in to excavate three or four holes at huge expense, and I think all they found was a teapot and a roll of barbed wire, something like that. It is an unparalleled record of a moment in history, an army assembling for D-Day, GIs glimpse playing baseball in the sun, some destined never to see this land again. John Ray, News at 10.